Hello students, welcome to NEV Physics. I am Sunil Saha and in this video you will study about projectile motion. A projectile is any object thrown in space with an initial velocity which then follows a path entirely under the effect of gravity alone. It must be noted that air resistance is neglected in projectile motion. Some examples of projectile motion are a bullet fired from a gun, a kicked football, a bomb dropped from a fighter plane, Well, there are some quantities that remain constant during projectile motion and they are the horizontal component of velocity and the vertical acceleration which is obviously equal to the acceleration due to gravity. Basically, there are two ways of firing a projectile. A projectile can be fired at an angle with horizontal or a projectile can also be fired parallel to the horizontal. However, in this video we will only study about projectile fired at an angle with horizontal. Let u is the initial velocity with which a projectile is fired at an angle theta with the horizontal. Here, ux is the horizontal component of the velocity and uy is the vertical component. Let after some time the projectile reaches point P, where the velocity of the projectile is v, whose horizontal component is vx and the vertical component is vy. And it must be noted that vx is equal to ux because the horizontal component of velocity is constant throughout the projectile motion. Let after some time the projectile reaches the point of maximum height that is represented by capital H. And at this point the vertical component of velocity is zero and all it has is only the horizontal component of velocity. Finally the projectile hits the ground and the maximum horizontal distance that projectile covers during its projectile motion is called the range and that is represented by capital R. Now let us prove that path of projectile is parabolic. We know that the horizontal component of velocity ux is equal to u cos theta and the vertical component ui is equal to u sin theta. Now let us suppose that after time t the projectile reaches point p in its trajectory and at this point the horizontal distance covered by the projectile is x and the vertical distance is y. Now let's see only the horizontal motion of the projectile. The initial horizontal velocity ux is equal to u cos theta. The horizontal acceleration ax is equal to zero. This is because the horizontal component of velocity is always constant. And the horizontal distance traveled sx is equal to x. So here we can use a equation of motion and write sx is equal to uxt plus half axt square. Substituting the values from above, we get the following expression. And finally, we get the expression for time taken t as x by u cos theta. Let this be equation 1. Now let's see only the vertical motion of the projectile. The initial vertical velocity ui is equal to u sin theta. The vertical acceleration Ay is equal to the negative of acceleration due to gravity. Here, 
The negative sign is for the projectile moving vertically upward. The vertical distance traveled SY is equal to Y. Now we can write a equation of motion as SY is equal to UYT plus half AYT square. Substituting the values from above, we get the following expression. Here, if we put the value of t from equation 1, we get the following expression. And simplifying this, we get equation 2. This equation 2 is in the form of y is equal to ax minus bx square, which represents the equation of parabola. So, the path of projectile is parabolic. Now let's derive the expression for time of ascent. The time taken by a projectile to attain the maximum height is called time of ascent. We already know that at maximum height, the vertical component of velocity Vy is equal to zero. Now we can write an equation of motion as Vy is equal to Uy plus Ayt. Substituting the values of Vy and Ay, we get the following expression. And rearranging this, we get u sin theta is equal to zt. If we represent the time of ascent by t prime, then we get an expression for time of ascent as in equation 3. Now let's derive the expression for time of flight. Time of flight is the time for which the projectile remains in the air before falling on the ground. It must be noted that the time taken by the projectile to reach the maximum height is equal to the time taken by the projectile to reach the ground from the maximum height. So obviously, the time of flight must be double of the time of ascent. So we get time of flight is equal to 2u sin theta by z. Now let's derive the expression for maximum height attained. The maximum height attained is the greatest height to which the projectile rises from the ground. Now we can write an equation of motion as vy square is equal to uy square plus 2ay sy. Substituting the values of sy, uy, and ay, we get the following expression. You must note that the value of sy when the projectile is at maximum height is x. So from here we get the expression for maximum height attained as u squared sin squared theta by 2z. Now let's derive the expression for the horizontal range. The horizontal distance covered by the projectile is called the horizontal range. We know that distance is equal to velocity into time. So similarly, horizontal range is equal to horizontal velocity into time of flight. Horizontal velocity is u cos theta and time of flight is represented by capital T. Now substituting the value of time of flight from previous derivation, we get the following expression. Solving this, we get the expression for the horizontal range, that is, u squared sine 2 theta by z. For a horizontal range to be maximum, the value of sine 2 theta must be maximum, which is equal to 1. So we get sine 2 theta is equal to sine 90 degree. From here, theta is equal to 45 degree. This is quite interesting because it shows that a projectile covers longest horizontal distance if it is fired at an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal. To get the expression for maximum range, 
we substitute sin 2 theta is equal to 1 in the above equation and we get the maximum range r max is equal to u square by z. Thanks for watching the video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and start a conversation below to get a video like this in your recommendation.